So today we are celebrating the very auspicious appearance of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Narasimha Devi. So in the Dasavatar Stotra, which is written by Jayadeva Goswami, which is the very beginning of the Gita Govinda, he, this, he describes about the ten avatars of Lord Vishnu. Gita Govinda Bani Yogi Ma Jayadeva Goswami Likhu Vairu Gita Ma Dasara Avatar Bhagavan Vishnu Ko Dasara Komu Avatar Haru Bhai Bani Yogi Bani Yogi Sar Isma Chau Chau Chai Narasimha Bhagavan Vishnu Ko Lord Narasimha Deva is the fourth in that list of ten incarnations So Dasara Avatar Mathe Ma Chau Chau Chai Bhagavan Narasimha Deva Ko Sar First of all you have Matya, then Kurma, then Varaha and then Narasimha the worship of Lord Narasimha Dev is very popular. All the devotees very much enjoy to worship Lord Narasimha Dev, and this is a very, very special day for all the devotees. Lord Narasimha Dev is very important to the devotees because it's Lord Narasimha Dev who gives protection to the devotees from dangerous situations. The danger is something which we all face in the course of our life. There's so much danger in this material world. So for Thai, Khon Thai na hap ma dini, the Thai na hap. Khon Thai, Thai te mai khao chai, bhasa angri, vaka bhasa hi, nepali, ma dini gara dini. Thai kai kuna ma si ma dini, le a play bhasa Thai na hap. <laughs> so Vishnu uh, Saya or Vishnu Priya to play has a high enough, I the make out I might be so, Lord Narasimha Dev is uh, very famous to give protection to the devotees because in the material world it is said, Padam Padam Tavipidam Nitesham. There is danger in every step in the material world. And many of the Acharyas, they were very devoted to Lord Narasimha Dev. But the very first commentator on the Srimad Bhagavatam was someone called Sridhar Swami, which was long before Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he was a great devotee of Lord Narasimha Dev. Narasimha Dev ko bhakta hai nubani yeri prakhya chan Jase Srimad Bhagavatam ko pahilo utha Jase Gharnu Vahe ko chiyo Atra Tatpare lehnu hai ko chiyo Vaishnav Tatpare lehnu hai Siddhar Swami Saitane Mahaprabhu vanda Vaha avadi ni aunu vahe ko chiyo Vaha bani Narasimha Dev ko chulo bhakta hai nubani And Lord Shaitanya Mahaprabhu went to see the holy temples of Lord Narasimha Dev and he would sing the glories of Lord Narasimha Dev at every temple. And 
we find ourselves, Srila Prabhupada taught us that when he was sick, the devotees asked Prabhupada how we could pray for him. Prabhupada said, put a picture of Lord Nishingadev on the altar, and then after arti every day, then you sing the Nishingadev stoch. By, by singing that Narsimha Stotra, then it will help to protect Srila Prabhupada and he said it will also protect our movement from attacks from the non-devotees. So people often wonder, is it really a person called Lord Nishringade? Is it really possible that there could be a half man, half lion? So we see 500 years ago in the past times of Lord Chaitanya that there was a person called the Chan Kazi who was the magistrate in charge of the affairs in Mayapur. So it happened that the devotees were doing kirtan, they were having kirtan, a lot of kirtan, and the neighbors all got angry and complained to the Chan Kasi. And the Chan Kasi came with all the Mohammedan soldiers and they beat the devotees and they broke the Madanga drum. And they threatened with the devotees that if you continue with all this noise, we will have to punish all of you. Punishment would be, you will lose your caste. So Lord Chaitanya was told, Lord Chaitanya was not present that time when they came and broke the Madanga. And when they told Lord Chaitanya that they were not to do any more Sankirtan, Lord Chaitanya became angry and he ordered everyone, he said, we will protest. And they had a big gathering, they gathered hundreds of thousands of people. They all came to march and protest. So they came to the Chan Kasi's house and the Chan Kasi had to come out and meet Lord Chaitanya and they had talks together. Now previously the Chan Kasi had told the devotees stop all this kirtan. But when Lord Chaitanya came there, 
Chantaji said, no, no, it's all right. I'm not going to stop the and Lord Chaitanya wanted to know what's the reason for you changing your mind. So the Chamakasi told that he had a dream. Immediately after he'd broken the Madanga, that night he had a dream. And, and he saw this very ferocious form, half lion, half man. And the lion appeared and jumped on his chest and held him by the throat and told him, you ever do that again to my devotees? If you ever break my madanga, I will rip you to pieces. <laughs> 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 And just to show that he meant it, Lord Nishringadev took his nails and rubbed them across the chest of the Chankazi. And the Chankazi opened his shirt and he showed all the big scratches which had been put on his chest. so Lord Nishimhade is an eternal form of Lord Vishnu and he has a planet in the spiritual world and sometimes he comes into this world The lions can be very gentle with their own cup but they're very ferocious to the outsiders and to intruders. Just like in Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says that he comes to give pleasure to his devotees and destroy the demons. So Lord Nishringadev is very kind to his devotees, but he's very ferocious to the non-devotees. <laughs> So, in Srimad Bhagavatam, it is described how this uh, one of the wives of Kashyapa was Diti. There were two sisters, one's Aditi and the other's Diti. So, Aditi, she's the mother of demigods, but Diti, she was the mother of to demons. So the two demons who were born with Diti, one was called Haranyaksha 
and the other was called Haranya Kashi. Who? So, Diti Vada Dhamma Lieka Dvijana Putra Arudhain. Who go on that? Hiranya Kashi Pura, Hiranya Kashi. So, Haranya Kashi was killed by Lord Varaha, the poor incarnation. Hiranya Kashi Lai Jai Kashi Vada Dhamma Zada Vanda Hiri Varaha Devli. Varaha Devli Vada Dhamma. And Haranya Kashi Pu, his brother, felt very sorry that his brother has been killed and he wanted to get revenge on the death of his brother and he was looking everywhere for Lord Vishnu he wanted to fight with Vishnu he wanted to kill Vishnu his brother, younger brother he could not find Vishnu anywhere. So anyway, he, he decided to do tapasya. And then he went to do tapasya and his idea was to get benedictions from Lord Brahma. He wanted Lord Brahma to bless him that he would never die. So he was doing tapasya for a long time. At this time, during this time when he was doing tapasya, his wife had conceived a child before he'd gone for the austerities. His wife had already conceived a child. And the demigods decided that they should take his wife and when she gives birth to the child, we will kill the child. Because we got father is such a bad person, such a demon, so nasty, he's giving so much trouble to the demigods that if his son is born, his son will be like the father. He will also be better. So better be killing him. But Narada Muni came there and he told the demigods, you don't understand, this child in the womb is a great devotee and you won't be able to kill him even if you try. So Narada Muni convinced the demigods to let the wife of Hiranyakashipu go with him. And Narada took this lady to the ashram and he taught, he taught her, he read the scriptures to her every day. When a woman conceives a child, you want to have a nice child, you want to read the scriptures every day. It's very good for the child. So Harani Kashipu was doing his austerities and the wife was in the ashram of Narada Muni and Narada Muni was reading every day to this, to this lady. The lady, she was a bit tired because she's carrying the baby in her womb. She did not listen very carefully. 
But the child in the womb listened very carefully and heard so later on, after the austerities was over, the wife delivered her baby and the baby was put into the Guru Kula to learn. So the child had been in the school for some time and the father, this Haranyakashipu, he had he wanted to hear from his child. So he said, Bring my child here. I want to know what my child has been learning at school. So the son came and offered the patiences to the father and the father thought, Oh my son, he felt so happy, so proud of his son. He picked his son up. He stroked his head and then he sat his son on his lap and he said to him, My dear son, please tell me, what have you learned from your guru? So, Prahlad had two gurus. There was the Sinano guru, meaning the family guru, where he had learned material knowledge from. But there was also the spiritual guru who had been teaching him the real knowledge, transcendental knowledge. That was when, he, before he was even born, while he was still in the womb of his mother. So Harani Kashifu wanted to know what he had learned from his guru. So Prahlad Maharaj thought, tell him what he had learned from the spiritual guru, not from the, the family guru. Shukracharya, the guru of the demons. Shukra means the seven, that's the, the line of seven of the cyclic succession, the family guru's line. So Prahlad said, the best thing I've learned from my guru is Shravanam Kirtan Vishnu. <laughs> The, the best thing, the real knowledge which I've learned from my guru is that these nine things, they are the best of all knowledge anywhere in the world. 
नौवटा भक्ति को मार्ग श्रवण कीर्तन विष्णु स्मरण पाद सेवन है ये सब नौवटा भक्ति का मूल अंग भगवान विष्णुस हमें भक्ति करना सब भाई महत्वपूर्ण चीज हो यो मैं सिके प्रहलाद महाराज But Harani Kashi Po was very upset to hear this because Vishnu had killed his brother. So he said, "Vishnu is the enemy of our family." Ani tora Harani Kashi Po the kuchhi unhon dia na kuchh suner. Vishnu, Vishnu ka hamro parivar ko parivar ke sabko unhe thulo dusman. Kisko di mujhe seva kar rahe hai kaise? Wahan re ekdam risha unse krodi thi. So Harani Kashi Po called for the teachers. And he said to the teachers, "Why are you teaching my child about devotion to Vishnu?" I am just busy guru arlay. I think I have to bhavan. I have to asuri parivari guru guru ko ki shiksha arlay bolaya ra. So then the team le bhavan Vishnu ko prati bhakti. I was arlay kine sikhaya ra. I was I was reading. Jai Pataka Swami's lecture. He was talking. He said when he became a devotee, he told his father. That he had become a devotee, and he was doing bhakti yoga for the service of Krishna. His father said, "Oh no, give it up. Go and join the army. Go to Vietnam and fight the war against <laughs> Vietnam. Go and kill yourself in Vietnam." Maharaj, Param Pujya Jai Pada Ka Maharaj ko lecture suni rakhnu hai to chhiri. Ani desh kasi tethi hara Maharaj ke lecture mein zari. कि जब वहाँ को पिता था भाई कि वहाँ भक्ति मार्ग में कृष्ण भक्ति भगवान विष्णु को अथ भक्ति योगा मार्ग में लाई रख्वे पिता लिखा खेल पिता ने के भू अरे ओ राम भो भाग बरू तिमी आर्मी जोइन कर भिएतनाम जाओ अभी अरुला मार आप मर रक्सी चुरट खाने मसु खाने So Harani Kashyap who was very angry he was blaming the teachers, but the teachers said, "No, we didn't teach him this. We don't know how he's thinking like this." Ani Harani Kashyap was saying, "Teacher, our son is doing pretty well. There are teachers who are very angry because he has done something wrong. I am the one who has done this. So Harani Kashyap was saying." So then, father began to question his son. He said. Where did you learn this knowledge from? Who taught you this? Ah, this was it. Thora lai bola yar. Pi yeh sichcha karne sikha zane mani. Kim lai kono se sikha? Ha, bola yar. So the kono sikha? And Thora said, Father, those people who are attached to sense gratification and who are dedicated to material life. They can never give this knowledge. They can never understand this knowledge. Ani Pralad Maharaj, the very early Krishna happened. Noon ma gire, Galvan noon zarve zarve zarve. Ani Pita ji, is to ya aaj aaj ni kya hamda, bhauti ke, bhauti Krishna laega, bhauti Jivan ma laega, Indriya bhuma, ekda masti tripta zarni bhakti arlay, jo kya hamda mila hai na, hamda ko rida mein khul hai na, mahar vandu zarve. People in material life are like blind people. And if you follow a blind person, you cannot expect to get any good destination. And जो बेटी आ रही हैं बहुत ही के जीवन में लिखता भाईगा सन इंडिया देखते में लिखता भाईगा बेटी आ रही हैं उन आ रहे हैं अंदर जाते हैं और अंदर बेटी ये वाला हम लोग और बस हम पूना सकते हैं जहाँ पर नहीं खींचना सकता जैसे ही करेगा जो जो बहुत ही इंडिया देखते में � So Prahlad Maharaj was explaining to his father, there's only one way you can get this knowledge. You have to take shelter of the devotee who is attached to the service of the Lord. Ani Tishwasi Prahlad Maharaj said, "Manuja, yogyan, tibe kosari, yogyan, amle kosari paunosakin zada banana. Adyatmi yogyan, 
त्यस्तो भक्तहरूबाट पाउन सकिन्छ जो चाहिँ भगवान कृष्णको सेवामा एकदम उन्मत्त हुनुहुन्छ अथवा त्यसमा पूर्ण रूपले लाग्नु भएको छ यु वान्ट टु गेट भक्ति यु हेभ टु गेट इट फ्रम अ भक्त फ्रम समबडी हु इज गोइंग टु डिवोशन र हामीले भक्ति कोबाट पाउन सकिन्छ त भक्तबाट पाउन पाउन सकिन्छ जो भक्त चाहिँ भगवानको सेवामा नियुक्त भएको समवन हु इज गोइंग टु डिवोशन for krishna then they have no attra- attraction to the material world they have just they have no interest in material life ra jo bhakta haru jai purna rupya sari bhagwan ko seva ma niyukta bhayeka huncha unar ra yo bhautik bishay ko bhog ma unar lai kunai ichha hudai so when harani kashi ko heard of this knowledge from his son he understood my son is useless He told the servants, "Take him, kill him." So that way, Hiranya was able to get some pay. Class, class, he was in. We are the third hour. Go ahead, now. He said, "Come, then." He said, "Marry him." He said, "I'm not sure what will happen." So they tried to kill Prahlad in so many ways. They put him in the well full of poison snakes. Nothing happened. They had mad elephants, big elephants, trample over him. Nothing happened. They threw him from the mountain. Nothing happened. They put him in the sea in the middle of the ocean. He was washed ashore again. They could not kill him. र प्रलाले धेरै किसिमले उनीहरुले मार्न खोजे हिरण्यकश्यपको गाड सेनाले जस्तै सर्पहरु एकदम विशालु सर्पहरुको बीचमा लगाएर राखिदिने माथि डाँडाबाट फाल्दिने समुद्रको बीचमा समुद्रको बिचमा लगाएर हालिदियो पनि के हुन्छ बिस्तारै हामी तैरेर फेरि उसमा आइपुगिहाल्छ थालेमा हुनु अनि त्यस्तै गरेर ठुल्ठुला हात्तीहरूले कुल्जाउने यसरी सबै कुरा गर्दाखेरि पनि के हुन्छ र प्रभाव नहाजलाई कसैले केही छुन सक्छ सो हरण्य काशी को सेट आई विल किल हिम माइ सेल्फ अनि त्यसपछि हिरण्य कश्यपले यस्तो सबै कुरा गरेर पनि केही नलागेपछि म आमै यसलाई आफै मार्छु भनेर तन्छु But before I kill him, I've got some. I'm going to ask him, where is this God that you worship? Ani deswasi Iranya ka shakuli ke sath sath la mar na mandar gadi. Koi le aapne sakti? Aswa tiyo tiyo ro Bhagwan mane ka sath mala ban deha. People always like to ask us that the demons, those who are atheists, who don't believe, in, they will say, "Oh, where is this God? You never see God. Did you ever see him anywhere? You've never seen him. How do you know there's God?" अनि त्यसपछि हामीलाई पनि त्यस्तो उदाहरण हामीले पनि आफ्नो जीवनमा भएका होला भक्तहरूले अरू बाहिरको नास्तिक व्यक्तिहरूले कहाँ छ तेरो भगवान हामीलाई पनि देखा खै कहाँ छ यहाँ पनि छैन यता पनि छैन यसरी प्रश्न लाग्छ अनि प्रहलाद महाराजले उत्तर दिनुहुन्छ मेरो भगवान त सबै किन हुनुहुन्छ And Prahlad said, "Yes, he's there also." And this was the question. And so the Hari, "Ki you khama ma bain sa dhir bala?" And I thought so. So because Prahlad has said he's in the pillar, Lord Nishingadev came out of the pillar. Hari, what was the answer? And Prahlad Maharaj said, "Oh, yeah, khama ma bain hi hunza bani bhi." And he was like, "Nasima de khama bala." He said, "Ki hum miski hunza." Usually we always do the drama. For this Lord Nishinga Dev pastime, ra ani le dheri dosi sari drama garni dosi. Nata, who who is the person who who is in charge of the dramas for this century? Yeah, go nata garni ko hunda, inja. Yeah, you have to do drama. Huh? फ्यूचर for the pleasure of lord krishna and shiva prabha shiva prabha like to see dramas we did one drama one time in new york and prabha said these dramas are better than my movies 
But the dramas must be serious. You're not going to just joke. <laughs> And if you brought back to Banuna, Lila, Bhagavan, Lila Bani, Alna Bari, Siddhanta Bani, Ramasana, Rasta Parna Bari. Should be according to the Shastras. Shastra go on Sarah no Bari. So Harani Kashipu asked Prahlad, where is this God? Is he in the pillar? So I said, yes, he's there. Lord Nishingu, they came out. And of course Harani Kashipu wants to fight him, he wants to kill Lord Nishingu. And Narsimha Dev Khamdavada Nishin Vah, Khamdavada Nishke Vahsi, Ani Hiranya Kashya Pura, Udhe Pura Ekdam Pahiyya Mahal Dari Vahetsu Bhavadana Nishin Vahsi Bhani Vahadiyo, Udhe Pura, Udhe Pura, Udhe Pura, Udhe Pura, Udhe Pura, Udhe Pura. So there was a great battle for some time, and then Lord Narsimha picked up Hiranya Kashya Pura, put him on his lap, and ripped open his chest, and took his intestines, and put it around his neck for a garland. And this was the case in the light of the Dagaragari, the Lorai, Sulu Gamasan, Yudava, and it is Pasi, Pasi, Narsima Devle, Asno, Kaka Lahera, and it was Hati, Hati Tirera, and it was Hata Pet Tirera, Pet Tirera, Andra Nigagara, Andra Lai, Mara. Lord Nashringa was very angry because he seen his devotees suffer so much. This, this demon Aranyakashipu tried to kill Prahlad in so many ways. So Lord Nishringadeva was very angry that they mistreated this very pure devotee Prahlad. You know, sometimes people get angry, it's difficult to get them to calm down again. They're so angry, you know. And they may be angry for days even. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Lord Nishringa was very angry. They could not pacify him. They brought his wife, Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune, but she could do nothing. And then they brought all the different demigods, they all came, they all offered prayers, but they could not pacify So then they brought Prahlad. And when Lord Nishringadev saw Prahlad, then his heart softened and he put his lotus hand on his head and he gave him transcendental knowledge and Prahlad began to offer prayers. So Lord Nasringade was so pleased with Prahlad, he told Prahlad, what benediction can I give you? But Prahlad said, no, no, I, I don't want anything. I am not a business person. So then Lord Narsingh said, no, you must ask something. So then he said, 
just don't let my father go to hell because I know my father was a demon and he tried to fight with you and kill you. So now he's dead. I just worry maybe he's gone to hell. And it is but Lord Nishri said, no, you don't have to worry. Your father has not gone to hell. In fact, he said, because of your pure devotion, because Prahlad was such a pure devotee, not only did his father not go to hell, but he said, for 14 generations, all of your family are delivered. So this was the benediction Prahlad Maharaj was happy to receive that his father did not have to go to hell. Lord Narsimhadev said, you should have some benediction for yourself. So Prahlad said, just bless me that in my heart there will be no desire for material sense gratification. <laughs> So we are told in the fifth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam that Prahlad Maharaj resides in Harivasha. And there, along with all the residents of Haribasha, they all worship Lord Nasrindhi. And they pray, Om Namo Bhagavate Narasimhaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Narasimhaya. Namaste Jaste Jase Abhir Abhir Baba Rajadaka Rajadamstra Karma Shraya Rindaya Rindaya Tamo Grasa Grasa Kon Swaha Abhayam Abhayam Atmani Bhuvishtam Om Shroom They pray to Lord Nishringade that bless us that in our heart there would be no desire for fruitive activity. And they pray to Lord Nishimhade, please appear in our heart and drive away our ignorance so that we might become fearless in our struggle for existence in the material world. In the material world, we are all fearful. Eating, sleeping, mating, and fearing. We are always in fear. So we pray, especially on this day, to Lord Nishringa Dev, to please appear in our heart, so that we can become fearless.
So this is our prayer on this day. So now it's time to break fast and turn up the sun.
So, Maharaj Bhandanda, I am a Bhakta Guru Pate, I am a Sanchil Bhavana Pate, Rai Ramu Pate. उसे अस्तुपनी सोचा कि माइले पहले जान मामा के नारायण लोग करें इतने वाला तो बेटी लाए ते वाले तो माले कार्म आओगे इसा वनरूपन उसे किसने सोचा सबसे तो वो जाकर निश्चात एंड जो जो बोलते हैं इसलिए जो कंपनी आती है उसको जो जो खास तो ना उसलिए दे माइले पहले करें को नारायण लोग चीज अगले अ वो बड़ा जो वक्त है जो जो वक्त जो जो वक्त मार दिया इसकी राय का सामने रहा इसलिए जब इसके बिना मेरा सांस ही बात रहने से ओ हाँ नहीं दर 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 तो ये आपने भक्ति दे छोड़ देना आपने भक्ति दे इधर दर 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 यूँ तो ही सांस ही का भाग है अच्छा अरे वो लोग कुछ नहीं है क्या only one question. You only is hearing past time. Hunger is gone. 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 Nepal is gone. Hunger 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 is gone. तो आरो उतार उन्हें बेस्ट तो सुस्त नहीं होता माला साला खोले रहा मांस साल करता है ना आई उन्हें को कॉस्टले जी यो लक्ष्य जैसे गुरु ले लक्ष्य की या तो उन्हें आप ही भोकने करते हो तो यो पाप ये पाप लक्ष्य की लगते हो तो कॉस्टल आज बावस्त हो then the enthusiasm is going down, you know, and after some time they might even take the mala and, you know, again start doing sinful activity, eating meat, sometimes we can see also uh, drinking and all the other sinful activity. So if they are doing like this, why is it like that? And then, is it because he has to take the reaction by himself or the Guru is going to also take, has to take the reaction? Uh, why is this kind of, uh, you know, sometimes you can see like this uh, kind of well, I would say that maybe they were not really ready for the initiation. They needed more time to get ready to become fully dedicated to devotion. Initiation means we're finished with the material of life. No question of going back to meat eating and intoxication. So people at this at this stage engage in Krishna conscious activities, then that will not happen. They won't fall down. अरे ये कि उन आरु भगवान को भक्ति में सेवा में लाई रखे बने उन आरु ले ये सब पाप कर्माओं का ये बने उन आरु फिर जाने में इफ द रेगुलरली चैंटिंग एंड द रेगुलरली हीरिंग एंड स्टडीइंग द बुक्स दे वांट बी अट्रैक्टिव टू दिस अरे ये कि उन आरु कोई व्यक्ति ले कोई भक्त ले नियमित रूप अगर आप इस तरह किताब पढ़ने भक्ति और समाज संगत करने उसे करें वहीं उल्लेख के पाप कर्म वहाँ पहले वहीं कि उसमें बने उसको रोशनी डालें आवश्यकता नहीं पड़ रही 
So we need to keep the association of the devotees is very important. And there are also offenses that we have to avoid. Especially offense to the devotees. Or other offenses to the holy name that if we commit offenses it will weaken our determination, weaken, weaken our attachment to Krishna and to, to Guru and to the devotees. Material world, the prophet said, the danger at every step, but Bhagavatam also said the same. And we shouldn't become overconfident. Once a prophet said, he said, I'm always praying to Krishna that I won't fall down. No question of prophet falling down, but still he was very humble and he felt that Maya is very strong, so always have to pray to Krishna and Srinya Dev for protection to keep us fully engaged in devotional service. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So, आज विशेष करके आज नरसिंह का चतुर्थ चतुर्थ दिन दिन है। तो हम देख सकते हैं कि हम कितने भाग्यशाली हैं कि आज हमारे समक्ष परम पूज्य भक्ति दुनियासक नरसिंह स्वामी महाराज जी हैं और साथ ही परम पूज्य प्रभुष्ण ब्रह्म भी हमारे साथ हैं। आज आज हमारे बैंकॉक के डिवोटी को भाग्य कोई सीमा नहीं है। देखिए जिन 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 महाजनों ने हमारे जगत गुरु श्री गुरुपाल का संग किया है, उनका दर्शन किया है, उनके मुखार्जन से जो सुना है, आज हमारे समुदाय के प्रकट किया गया है। तो इससे बड़ा सौभाग्य दुनिया में कोई नहीं, जब भी हमको मिल रहा है। सबका धन्यवाद करना चाहते हैं। तो और विशेष बात यह है कि आज नसिंगर दिन चतुर्दश के दिन में सारे पूरे जो जितने भी हमारे थाईलैंड के लीडर हैं आज हमारे इस मंदिर में शामिल हुए हैं। हमारे दोस्तों का नाम श्याम सुंदर कृष्णदास। श्याम सुंदर कृष्णदास प्रोजी खुकेट में बहुत सेवा करते हैं प्रोजी आप सब जानते हैं प्रोजी पहले प्रेसिडेंट बने थे इतना सुंदर मंदिर प्रोजी और छाम से निमा ब्रह्मजी भी आए हुए हैं और मोहिन से भी है कृष्ण कृपा ब्रह्मजी और उनके पूरे फैमिली और भी भक्ते आए हुए हैं 
और एबेक्स से भी वाह वेरी गुड मैं देख रहा हूँ कि करण जी कौशों में से भी कोई बच्चा आए हुए हैं हरी वो और भी थे मैं देख रहा हूँ जितने भी थे तो सब को स्वागत है बहुत बहुत स्वागत है बहुत बहुत स्वागत है इसी प्रकार से आप आते रहिए और हम लोगों की जो आनंद में आनंद और बढ़ाइए और किधर मिचिन वाह हरी बोल नंदा नंदा बर्बू ब्रा मिचिना हरी बोल और और आज के विशेष दिन में सही वक्तों ने योगदान दिया है आप सबने देखा होगा हमारे ग्रुप में एक लीस है सही वक्तों ने आज विशेष नशिंग चतुर्दश के दिन में सही वैष्णव के लिए प्रसाद के लिए योगदान दिया है किसी ने दो सौ किसी ने पाँच सौ किसी ने हजार दिया है तो उन सब को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद कि आज देखिए आज कितना बड़ा दिन है देखिए नहीं और हमारे परम आचार्य के जो शिष्य भी हमारे समक्ष है तो हम श्री श्री राधा गोविंद जी से और श्री नरसिंह देव भगवान से प्रार्थना करते हैं कि जिन्होंने भी आज इस योगदान दिया है कि हम सब मंदिर के मैनेजमेंट टीम मिलकर हम प्रार्थना करते हैं जिस श्री नरसिंह देव भगवान से कि जितने भी उनके जो भक्ति में विघ्न बाधाएं हैं जितने भी बाधाएं आते हैं उनको विघ्न भक्ति करने में सब दूर हो जाए और भगवान कृष्ण के प्रति प्रेम उनका बढ़ता रहे बढ़ता रहे और इसी प्रकार उनको और सेवा करने की इच्छा हो और सेवा करने की इच्छा हो तो हम आप सब भक्त मिलकर एक बार जो है नाम कृतक करेंगे और अभी संडे आ रहे हैं दो तीन बार तो आज परम पूज्य पूरा विष्णु प्रभु कुछ बोल नहीं पाए तो प्रभु से मैंने बात कर रहा था कि आप इस संडे में प्रभु जी आएंगे और इसी प्रकार से हमको भगवान कृष्ण के बारे में अलग अलग भक्तों के बारे में बताएंगे नेक्स्ट संडे हम इसका भी बहुत बहुत लाभ उठाएंगे की की गौर गौर भक्त हरे कृष्णा मैं यहाँ पर जगह आपको थोड़ा कम जैसे लग रहा है तो जो जगह फुल हो जाता है तो थोड़ा जगह बनाए हुए हैं विशेषकर प्रभु जी लोग नीचे जा सकते हैं मारो स्कूल आई बात है मारो लोग मारो लोग अगर नहीं आ रहा बोलो अरे बालू माता जी